What up? I'm Johners. So I'm going to teach you today how to beat Abyss difficulty in Unloved. Or how to like progress when you're first starting out. So when I first started out, it was fucking hard. I remember I would get my ass beat. I died so many times in the beginning and I didn't know what the fuck I was doing wrong. So it took me a while. I had to read guides. I went online, went to the wiki all that shit. And I figured out how to do it. And it's actually not that bad once you figure out how to play. It's just the problem is when you're playing on the previous difficulty, what is it, unearthly, all the other difficulties before, you're learning bad habits. You're playing the game. You're like, yeah, I know how to play this game. And then you fucking get to Abyss and you get your fucking ass destroyed. Like, so it really takes like a whole new set of habits and mindset to even play on abyss because it is so radically different well, I guess it's not radically different but whatever you really have to think differently than the other difficulty modes now oh, this is for solo too by the way <laughs> I'm not even telling you anything uh, this is for solo quad damage so God only knows how you would do it without quad damage I don't even fucking know so anyways so we're gonna look at let's go look at the trinkets so you want to have obviously rank threes you need to have actually player level 150 just to even get into abyss difficulty it won't even like it won't even show up if you don't have 150 player level so anyways yeah you want to have well let me see how many can i take off okay actually 146 can i still play on abyss no it won't even let me so you gotta have i don't even know how much this counts for i have a rank four So you gotta have a lot of high level rank three trinkets just to even get into abyss i would suggest don't even fucking try it until you have like the three primary ones like your primary weapon your figurine and then your gloves maxed out to level seven uh, i don't even think you can without these being a level seven but anyways uh so i don't know whatever you use i don't know what your starting thing is i use the pistol silver bullet because i've never gotten the shotgun or the SMP starter one so this is what I use uh, for the figurine I have scythe I got really fucking lucky this one's actually better than the gun dude one that's rank 3 and then the gun girl one that's rank 3 but if you got those ones just use them whatever get them to level 7 they're still really good although I think the scythe one is the best uh, your gloves obviously I'm using guns for my build I'm not doing a melee build I use the marine gloves that gives you a ton of fucking ammo super fast reload speed for the vest I have the rank 4 one I deleted my rank 3 one because I got this baby you want to have the combat vest the rank 3 combat vest because it gives you plus 15 percent armor protection which is a big fucking game changer and then it has 70 percent more ammo and 70 percent more armor pickups I think also but uh yeah you want to have the combat vest because when you're playing on quad damage you need all the armor protection you can get because when you're playing on abyss you will pretty much get two or three shot by even normal fucking mob like mobs like rotten ones they will usually one shot you or two shot you no joke like they're really bad the rotten like butchers for example rotten butchers they will one shot you pretty much i remember in the beginning i would get one shot all the time and i'd be like what the fuck anyways um so for the gun mods i don't use the magnum because i don't like how slow it fires there's the magnum kit and there's the tactical kit i like the tactical kit because it shoots a lot faster it reloads really fucking fast other people who usually play normal mode who don't play quad damage they say oh yeah you need to take the magnum they're probably fucking right i'm playing on quad damage i can get away with using the tactical kit i like the fast reload speed for playing solo especially on abyss you and quad damage you need fucking reload speed like if you don't have reload speed oh my god it is bad you really I don't think you should take the other mods like for the SMP for example the other one oh it gives a silencer or whatever some people say oh yeah you want to use a silencer on abyss I don't think you should fucking use the silencer because you don't even need it the SMP is really accurate if you just tap it the left click and the right click so yeah increased reload speed shotgun like I don't even know why the dude made the other two mods for the shotgun because without reload speed the shotgun is kind of worthless like you're gonna die if you don't have reload speed whereas if you're using the reload speed one the kingslayer choke you can stun lock most rotten demons like fucking rotten clowns the butchers 
pretty much everything everything rotten you can stun lock them with the shotgun you're just like bam both fire both shells bam 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 you just keep doing that you can stun lock rotten clowns rotten butchers the fucking rotten doctors the only ones sometimes i do it on the rotten witches the black witches but usually i just shoot them from far away because it's too risky to get that close um so yeah you can stun lock if you have reload speed the re the kingslayer choke plus these gloves you will stun lock using both barrels you can stun lock fucking clowns rotten clowns anything you will stun lock them as long as that's the only thing on you of course shit if you got something else you're fucked i don't even use the nail gun if you have you should get the reload speed one obviously because the nail gun fucking reloads slow as fuck um if you can i never use the nail gun i probably should but i don't like i said i don't have the reload speed trinket so i never use it Think it's kind of worthless you shouldn't use it if you don't have the reload trinket for the railgun you want the fucking reloading faster one uh the gear works i used to not use this i used to use the pure damage one and it's good it does a shitload of damage but the reloading oh my god it will save your life on abyss it really fucking helps like you want the reload reload speed pretty much reload speed reload speed reload speed that's what you want you're playing solo quad damage on abyss you want fucking reload speed you don't have anybody else to back you up when you're not shooting they're coming <laughs> like so anyways all right then we're gonna talk about rings so for the ring i have the ring of sacrifice because i'm a lucky son of a gun but uh if you're a pistol main you want to have you have the choice of the plated king's ring the regular king's ring or the Merciless King's Ring. Obviously, if you're a pistol main, you only like to use the pistol. You should always have a backup. Always have a backup gun. Even if you're a pistol main or SMP main, shotgun main, whatever. You always want to have a secondary weapon just in case you're shooting, like, you know, a black witch or a black clown. You empty the whole mag and then, you know, you need to desperately switch to another gun and empty that whole thing on his face to kill him because there's three or four other demons behind him or to your right and you need him dead now. So you always want to have at least two guns on Abyss. So even if you're a pistol main, then take an SMP or take a shotgun, whatever. Um, so yeah, I mean, it just depends. It's all luck with the rings. You know, you get them from the demon chest. You can also get them from breaking down your fragments right here, buying new random trinkets. I get a shitload of rings just by buying random trinkets. So you can do it. I got a lot of rings that way. Um, the other thing is too, if you don't know this, you should be, well, I mean, when you're first starting out, yeah, you probably should save all your rings that you get in the game so that way you can pump them up and level them up and you actually get more abyss shards and then you can shred them. I usually just take them to like level 20 cause that's not too bad to get the rubies for it. You get them to like level 20, it'll be like worth 50 abyss shards or something like that, which is pretty good. That's pretty easy to get level 20 on a ring, shred it. You get the 50 abyss shards. When you're first starting out at Abyss, you're probably not comfortable clearing it, you know? You maybe die a lot. So if you can just clear Abyss a couple times, get an Abyss chest, maybe you get a figurine or something you want, cool. Then you can just stay away from Abyss, go back to the lower difficulties, grind a shitload of rubies, level up these rings, shred them, you're getting Abyss coins that way without actually playing Abyss. And you can pump up your figurine or whatever the item is that you got. Okay, so yeah, if you're Pistol Main, those are the three you're looking at. Um, obviously, I think if you're playing on quad damage, I think you should go pure damage. So the Merciless King's Ring has the most. It's like 400% damage or something like that. I think you should go with the ring that has the most damage. That's just me. Uh, Plated King's Ring has the least, but has done armor. And then this middle one has the mid range. I mean, you don't get to choose really what ring you get. So if you get the Merciless King's Ring, your pistol main, that's what you want, obviously. But I mean, you know, that's if you get the ring. Uh, if you don't get the ring, like let's say you got the, mid the middle tier king's ring or the plated one, the one that you don't want, you should still level it up because it's going to help you in Abyss. Even though it doesn't have as much damage or whatever, get it to like level 50. That's not that hard. Get it to level 50 and stop right there. Maybe get it to like 60, but don't really go past that because it costs a shitload of rubies. And it's to me, if it's not the ring that you want to be using, you know, permanently, I don't think you should upgrade it past 50. And even at 50, at level 50, that's good. You're getting good enough damage that you should be able to clear Abyss once I teach you how to beat Abyss. <laughs> so level 50 ring, you should be good enough to handle Abyss. Um, so yeah, 
obviously pistol main you want the merciless king's ring if you're an smp ring uh main i shredded the fucking foggy one i shouldn't have shredded it so i could have showed you the foggy one um there's the specter ring this is the best damage one it has really high double double damage chance for the smp it has like 10 percent armor protection i think at 200 so if you're an smp main this is the best one for damage and i think you should use this one um then there's the foggy specter ring which has like a blue gem in the middle that one is the best defense one it has the same damage as the onyx specter one and only ha it has less double damage chance than the this onyx ring but uh the foggy specter has a 30 percent more armor protection that's like wearing two fucking combat vests on top of your combat vest that's ridiculous so i think that one's really good the defense one if you're not comfortable leveling you know clearing uh fucking abyss um i think you should go with the onyx specter ring but hey the foggy is good too and then if you're a shotgun main you have more choices i think you should go with the unholy ring because this one has super high ghost reload chance he has like 40 something which is fucking good um and then it has the damage it's like 300 percent damage or something like that and also has double damage chance for smp this is like the best shotgun ring pretty much because of that ghost reload it's um the other option is the arch demon ring or the demon ring so there's goat demon arch demon and i don't think i have the other one i thought i did maybe i shredded it all right well anyways i think this is the mid-range one one of these goat demon the ring, demon rings they're actually really good because it increases your armor protection also and has a chance armor protection shotgun damage and it's a chance to convert a demon to fight for you this arch demon ring has like a 40% chance to convert a demon, I think. So, and if you want the armor protection plus that extra demon thing, this is like the best one. You get utility. This is like the best damage one, I think. The unholy ring, I think you should use this one <laughs> if you get it. Or any of the other unholy rings, like the, what is it, forbidden, and then... I thought I had the other one. I probably do, I just don't see it. Brushed iron whatever it doesn't matter um so yeah these two rings unholy ring and demon ring those are the best ones for shotgun uh any other rings besides that i don't think you should use like the nail gun rings or the fucking i mean i guess you could use the nail gun ring because it also has armor protection but i don't think you should use it because you're not using the nail gun and then there's the rail gun rings i don't think you should use those either because it increases your max health and trust me if you're out of armor to where you have to rely on your health you're dead anyways like <laughs> you're gonna die <laughs> if you don't have armor um that's pretty much it you don't want to use that haste ring the holy grail i think obviously is the fucking ring of sacrifice because it increases damage of all ranged weapons so it's great because you can use fucking everything and it gives you a ton of damage but it reduces your max health it's not a big deal because you don't want to get hit anyways if you're getting hit on fucking abyss you're dead <laughs> so i'm gonna take the merciless king's ring and i just realized i don't have my fucking headphones on so i can't hear shit all right i'm gonna take the merciless king's ring so that way i don't got the op damage so that way people aren't like oh you're just cheesing a best dude i only have the fucking rank four combat best i don't even have figurines or anything else yet i've been so unlucky i've gotten tons of fucking nail gun shit rail guns I think I got the silencer rank for still haven't gotten figurines oh yeah I'll talk about that real quick so for your abyss like the rank fours when you start opening the chest and you're actually beating the levels what you want really what you really want is like your figurine figurine should be like the number one thing you level up on rank four so if you get like the what is it the Mars Marine or the gun duo uh, those ones oh my god they're amazing like you should if you get those early on, just fucking dump all your Abyss coins into those things. They will give you so much damage and make Abyss like a joke. You won't even have any problems. Uh, or if you get the Veterans Combat Vest, that's what I got. That's what I've been putting my points into, or my Abyss coins. Uh, I only got it to like level 5 because it costs a shitload of coins, and I don't think it's that worth it to get past there until I get a figurine. There's also the starting ones, like the Golden Pistol Bullet, the Shotgun Dragon's Breath, and all that. They're really good if you're really desperate, I guess. 
you should level them up. I don't think you should. I think you should wait till you get a figurine because the figurines are way better and they give you more damage. But that's up to you. If you feel really desperate, hey, do what you got to do. You're trying to beat Abyss, you know? So, uh, all right, I got the ring. It's only 22% damage. All right, so we're going to go into a match and I'm going to show you how to not die. All right, so, oh, I got to talk about gotta talk about sprint jumping uh, so if you haven't read it already there's a guide on Steam I'll put it in the description some guy made a really good unloved guide where he talks about uh, just like just tons of different tips and track tactics and stuff like that so you should go read that first if you don't or if you haven't read it so anyways um, so you can do this thing called sprint jumping where you click shift you know your sprint button and spacebar at the same time and it basically like launches you pretty far like as if you're running and if you look at my stamina uh, 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 over there <laughs> the yellow bar your stamina pretty much doesn't go down uh, rather if you're sprinting you're using a ton of stamina and all that and you can only run so much this is like a glitch basically <laughs> if you hold shift and sprint and you do that it basically uses no stamina and you actually go further than if you were just sprinting so you want to get used to doing this um, to get away and shit like that. So get used to that. So anyway, so we're starting out. So we're trying to look for the white room. So this mode is different because I'm just picking up armor. This mode is different because in the other difficulties, you're just running around and you're trying to, oh, you got to find all the keys and then you got to, you know, get to the yellow room and then you win, you know, or you find demon chest or whatever. In this mode, it's different. It's you got to find the keys and every time you get one key, so the red key, blue key, and the, ye the yellow key, it will unlock one of the bosses. There's three bosses that you can fight in abyss mode. And in order to get an abyss chest, which is what you want, you have to kill all three bosses. So the abyss wanders. There's a yellow one, a green one, and then there's like a black one. He's like kind of like a witch. So in order to make them spawn, we have to go find the uh, crest. So we're pretty much just looking around, just just look around, get armor. Obviously, you know how to play this game. You're on abyss. Um, but yeah, he will not spawn until you find the red crest. So you could get a ton of heat. You know, you're picking up a shitload of items. You could be fighting like you know a giant fucking army of guys. But if you don't pick up that red crest or the blue crest, you know, yellow, so on and so forth, he won't spawn. You're just going to be fighting a shitload of guys on Abyss difficulty. So you want to try and, you know, don't try and pick up too much shit. <laughs> you see how fast he came at me? Uh, don't try and pick up too much stuff, you know. Pick up what you need, obviously. Oh, the a railgun. You got to pick that shit up. Um... I don't think when it comes to weapon mods and totems, I don't think you should pick them up because pretty much once you get maxed out rank 3 trinkets, I don't think you really need totems or weapon mods. That's up to you. They give a shitload of heat and I don't know if you really want to take that risk. So I do sometimes get them. I do sometimes get them in the beginning because I'm trying to get some more heat. Uh, because I don't have enough heat to spawn the boss the bosses will only spawn like once you get the red crest The bosses will only spawn if they're the 34th monster to spawn on the map. So there has to be 33 monsters and Like let's say you get the red crest There has to be 33 monsters on the map and then the 34th one to spawn will be the boss so That's how it works I'm Shooting these folios Fucking guy. Where's the door? Oh, I forgot. I have to open this. There you go. I'm picking up keys because I'm trying to get totems. I should does pretty good damage. I only have 22% damage, so watch. Here you go. I got the crest. And we'll see if he spawns. Sometimes the spawning's a little weird. I didn't actually want to go into the second white room because you kind of want to God, I wish I could fucking show you the map and pause you kind of want to not open up as many rooms as you want or can you want to keep as many doors locked as you can 
because the more doors that are locked, you won't be able to go into that room, but the demons will keep spawning in that room, so that'll get your the number of demons up to 33 or whatever in the level, so you have a higher chance of the boss spawning. Because trust me, there's a ton of times, if you just open every single fucking door, uh, every section, you know, all the whites, all the red areas, blues and all that, sometimes you won't get the, the Abyss Wanderer won't spawn because the game, I don't know, like, they, the, I don't know how the spawning works, but basically sometimes the boss won't spawn because you're not, like, in range of enough rooms for the demons to be popping in. I don't know. It's weird. It's really strange. That's why it's best to try and, like, hope that you want to hope that, oh, I hope... Oh, wow, I'm going to fucking die because I'm talking to you over here. <laughs> I don't know where this bitch is. I'm over here trying to give an explanation and I'm getting fucking killed. Uh, this is going to take longer than I thought. Anyways, uh, you'll understand <laughs> as you get further. Uh, trying to keep doors locked. If you can, I mean, obviously you can't choose where the fucking red crest is gonna be. But, uh, yeah, anyways. Now that we got this red crest here. Oh, yeah, and, uh, you're gonna get really fast if you play this mode. So, look at, there you go, he spawned. Okay, so, when he does spawn, you really don't want to pick up anything because that's just gonna spawn more demons and make your life worse. So usually as soon as he spawns, you wanna just stop. Especially in the beginning, when you're first starting out. Just stop picking up shit. Stop picking up, you know, armor or whatever. Or armor you should still pick up um, if you have to. And pretty much just, just hunker down. So this is actually a pretty good room because it's nice and open. But yeah, wherever you are, you want to just hunker down. As soon as that boss spawns, just stop. Stop. Like, don't open doors anymore. Just fucking get a good defensible space. Make sure you have ammo. And just stop. Just just wait. And uh, always be moving around like this. You know, either walk in circles or walk forward and backwards, whatever. The reason why you're doing that is because a lot of times demons will use their demon speed just like that. And they will teleport across the fucking room. Who the fuck is shooting me? Fucking asshole. I'm trying to talk and you're shooting my ass. I'm gonna talk about that green shit right now. But uh, <laughs> a lot of times you'll be standing still. Like when I first started playing, I would just stand still. I'd be at a choke point. I'd be like, yeah, I got this choke point. I'd kill any motherfucker who comes in here. Goddamn rotten butcher would just <laughs> fucking speed through the door and just, <laughs> just kill my ass. One shot me. So that's why you always want to be moving. Even if you're in a place that seems safe, always be moving. Either, you know, like I said, if you're in a hallway or something, then just walk forward and backwards. Uh, or if you can, walk in circles. You know, just keep walking in circles. Because the, when you're doing this, you keep moving, the monster will fucking demon speed to you really fast, but you're moving. So you're a moving target. If you're just standing still, a lot of times they will demon speed to you and instantly hit you and kill your ass. Because this is quad damage, and you're going to get one shot like that. So that's why. You just keep moving back and forth, left and right, or in circles. They can't really do that. They will still demon speed to you and get close, but because you're moving, you're like a moving target, they will stop usually you know, near you, and you're moving already, so you have like momentum. You're like moving back and forth, so you're ready. You're going to see them. Because if you're just standing still, sometimes you just get lazy, and you're chilling there like, oh, I'm just waiting. And then you see the demon sprinting in, and when you're first starting out on Abyss, I didn't have the reaction time. They would demon speed to me, and I would not be able to aim fast enough to shoot them, and they'd kill my ass. So that's why you always want to be moving. So that way they can't just demon speed and fucking murder your ass. So... This is how it's going to be when you're first starting out in Abyss because you're scared as hell and you don't want to die. So you're going to just wait. Just wait. I would suggest just waiting. Later on when you're more experienced that you can run around and start opening up the other doors and look for the the Abyss Wanderer. Try and find him. But I would suggest in the beginning when you're first starting out just fucking wait, okay? If the fucking match is going to take, you know... If the match is going to take an hour or 45 minutes or whatever, don't give a shit, okay? you trying to get in the Abyss chest and uh, don't even care. Just fucking take your time. Don't rush it. 
So the reason why these monsters are turning green, this is the the green guy, I think. Every Abyss Wanderer has like a special ability that they buff all the other demons near them. So I believe this is the green guy. So his special ability is he buffs the dudes near him and any demons that are buffed by him, if you kill them, they'll come back to life and they'll be all green, but they'll only have like a fraction of their health. I don't know if it's like half their health or whatever. Uh, it depends on the demon, like the big fat manky by ones that shoot the fireballs, those guys, when they turn green, they still have a shitload of health. So usually with like the pistol guys, nurses, and then the cutters, usually, you know, it takes one shot to kill them and then, oh, I got to shoot them again because they just turn green and then they'll die. Um, so that's it. And then his actual abilities, he's just a green dude. He looks like a, <laughs> he looks like a green player, like green as fuck. And he shoots three. Am I thinking of the wrong guy? Maybe this is the yellow guy. Fuck. I don't know. I don't know if it's the yellow guy or the green guy. See, I don't even fucking know. He's over here, though, I know. I can hear him walking. See, you can hear him walking. I think he's in the blue room over here. I don't even know. I'm trying to teach you, and I don't even fucking know what... <laughs> I don't even know which guy has which buff. I know the black... There's the black uh, abyss wanderer. He's basically like a witch, a black witch. He will, you know, do the little death stare and he'll instant kill you if it touches you. So don't look at him. Uh, his special ability, I know, he speeds up other demons so they walk a lot faster. Uh, their demon speed, I think, is the same, but they just walk a lot faster and attack faster. And then I'm getting the yellow guy and the green guy mixed up, and I don't even know which one's which. But I'm gonna find out right now since he comes over here. One of them, I think it's the yellow guy. He buffs the enemies and he's the one that gives them that extra life bar basically. And then the green guy, he shoots like a three try shot, kind of like the fat Mancubi. And he, his special ability is he makes the demons use like an upgraded version of their, their fireballs. So it's like the rotten version. So if it's one of the cutters, he's going to shoot a green fireball instead of a red one, even if he's just a normal cutter. So that's his ability. This motherfucker ain't coming. I hear him walking. So you hear him. He's over here. Don't do this, by the way. What I'm doing, <laughs> stay where you're at. <laughs> Do as I say, not as I do. Uh, stay in the place that you're holding out, you know? You want to fucking stay here and hold out. Like I said, in the beginning, you are not, you don't feel safe in this difficulty. You're trying to learn. Take your time. Don't, don't, don't take risks that you don't need to take. So, just camp. Just fucking camp. He's got to come to you. The demons will come to you eventually. It doesn't matter if they're in the other locked rooms or not. So, they will come, trust me. You, you already know that. If you're this far in the game. You know these fucks will come for you. Now I wish I had the blue key just so I can get him out of there so I could show you. Will you just spawn, dude? I might probably skip this part of the video because I don't want to make you sit through all this. I don't hear him anymore. Let's go check. Maybe he's in this red room over here. Nope, I don't hear anything. It's getting a little too quiet. He's still in that blue room. That blue room hiding ass motherfucker. Look at him. You can hear him in there. Sometimes this is how it is. You're just waiting. You're waiting for them to come out. I mean, you can keep going in the level, but I really don't think you should. If Especially if you're just starting out, it's not a good idea. Later on, when you know what you're doing, yes, you know, you can go to the red rooms. If you're waiting for the boss to come out, hey, go for it. But uh, in the beginning, don't do it. Just wait. Just camp. 
So, because you need confidence. You got to build your confidence. Because trust me, when I first came on this difficulty, I was so scared. And I just, oh, see, he just came out. Okay, so it's the yellow guy. The yellow guy buffs. He also shoots those fireballs that really suck. They they move really slow, but they're homing. So they will, like, you know, you can still use walls, obviously, to break them. But uh, they're really slow. So that's what makes them kind of annoying. So it's like as soon as you see one, it's usually best to, like, yeah, maybe get a couple shots off and then just get behind a wall so the, the projectile will break. So, yeah, yellow guy. Now you know, and now I know. <laughs> yellow guy who shoots the slow slow homing projectiles he is the one who buffs the demons well they'll have like an extra life bar so just using the walls to break his projectiles and he's dead just like that i'm only using i only have 20 percent damage from the merciless king's ring okay i do not have 200 percent or whatever so uh i don't even know how people do it on normal mode because look quad damage i feel is way better way easier because Jesus normal mode I can only imagine trying to do this oh hey it's a black witch we can show you always use cover when killing black witches you know this already you should know this already all right so we're gonna go for this red room over on the left because this one is closer to this locked blue room whereas this one's further away so if we're in this room and hopefully the blue crest is in there Hopefully we can get shit in this room and the monsters will spawn in the locked blue room and we'll have a higher chance of spawning the second uh, demon guy. And if you notice, I can't point that way. No, this way. <laughs> there you go. Over there, underneath the keys, uh, like right here, there's those green little uh, like pentagrams or whatever. That means those are the bosses. So one is lit up, we've killed one. So now we're going into this red room. Praying to the RNG God, RNG Jesus. See, you're gonna get that fast. Before, I would not have been able to shoot that fast. I would have been like, ah, and then he would have hit me and, like, you know, chopped me up a little bit. But you're gonna get that fast. <laughs> Where you just turn and just bam, bam, you're just like, no, nah, you're dead, dude. So, trust me, he would have hit me. Like, when I first started playing, oh, sweet, it's here. When I first started playing, he definitely would have fucking hit my ass. Alright, so now we have the second uh, crest. So now the second boss can spawn, but we need to get some heat. So this is when I would pick up totems. We're trying to build up some heat. We've killed most of the enemies. Oh, yes. Try and get some heat going. Pretty much just pick up shit until you hear him spawn. And you want to obviously try and be in a place that's defensible. I would not fight in this room because this room kind of sucks. Uh, I would probably go back to that white room where I was at, but I mean, sometimes you get stuck and you you uh, don't get to choose. Oh, oh, a rotten butcher, my favorite. Oh, that's another thing I guess I can tell you. Uh, when you got demons coming at you, walk backwards. Just walk backwards as you shoot them, and you should know the levels. Like. Well, I guess I didn't really know the levels when I started Abyss 2. I still didn't memorize them. You're going to memorize the levels, trust me. Because you have to know where you are, where you're walking, and everything. So that way, when some demon's coming after you, just backpedal, start shooting. Bam, bam, bam. If you're backpedaling, they cannot melee hit you. I mean, unless unless there's a shitload of them. But if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, like a cutter. If there's the cutter walking towards you and he's trying to cut you... If you're backpedaling, he cannot hit you. He's not, unless he shoots a fireball, obviously. But when it comes to melee hits, no demon can hit you if you're backpedaling. And I don't even have any speed buffs or nothing. So just keep that in mind. As long as you have space to walk, no demon can melee hit you if you're backpedaling. So just, you need to just calm down when something's jumping you. Start walking backwards. Bam, bam, bam. Just unload on his ass. Uh, you know, try and stun lock him or whatever if you have a shotgun. Get this Fulio. See all rooms. I already know where the rooms are. I don't need to see. Normally, I would not pick up a box of pistol bullets, but like I said, we're just trying to get heat. So, I'm going to pick up fucking ammo. I'm trying to get a wave to spawn. We got a lot of big boys. Oh, 
always be checking. I always have the habit of always checking my ass. Even when I'm fighting a wave, sometimes I'll have spawns behind me. So I'll be like, bam, 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 shooting and shit. And I will fucking turn around real fast just to look, check my ass. Because sometimes you'll have one or two stray demons that will spawn behind you, even if you're in a room that they can't get into. Or, you know, they usually won't spawn in the same room where you're at. They'll sometimes spawn behind you, a couple of them. So always check your ass. Always check your sides and everything like that. Because you're over here focusing on the motherfuckers in the front. And there could be, you know, a demon who's sneaking up on you from the back. Ooh. Yeah, I see there's a bunch in here. So again, he hasn't spawned yet. He's not spawning, this demon boss. So, this is how it is sometimes. You gotta just build up heat. So, I know that's scary, and it is scary, especially if you're just starting out. Oh, these guys are all stuck here. Sometimes it's scary, but. Motherfucker. Sometimes it's scary, you know, you don't wanna be building up heat, but. <laughs> I love when they spawn like that, poor guys. Uh, you don't want to build up heat, but you have to. You have to build up heat because otherwise this fucking boss won't spawn. So I'm going to probably pick up these rubies. This is the only time you should be picking up rubies. If you're not farming, obviously if you're not over geared and <laughs> farming uh, abyss already, <laughs> you won't be watching this video. Uh, you should not pick up rubies at all on abyss. Only go ruby farming on the lower difficulties. So, so yeah. I'm picking up rubies. I'm trying to get the wave to spawn. Sometimes you gotta wait a little bit too. Like you get a bunch of heat and sometimes it's best to just wait. Like wait like 10 seconds or something to see. Cause sometimes it won't even tell you here that oh there's a wave spawning you know on the uh, the red letters when it says in red oh there's a wave coming blah blah blah. Sometimes it won't even tell you and then the boss spawns. So um Usually, when a wave will spawn, because you got enough heat, usually... Oh, see, look at that shit. Fucking Abyss Wanderer spawned. There was not even a wave. There's not even... Well, you can't see it because my camera's in the way. There's no wave. There was no wave that started. So apparently, there's already 34 motherfucking demons on this map. And the boss spawned. And there's no fucking wave. So, that's why you can't always trust... Look at this bitch. You can't always trust the the red letters oh shit that's the black one you can't always trust the red letters to tell you when a wave is coming because sometimes it doesn't even fucking tell you and there's a wave so that's the black abyss wanderer he's basically like a black witch a rotten witch he will one shot you if he does the little your whole screen goes gray and he's like staring at you if he does it you will one shot you it doesn't matter how much health you have you will die if he hits you with that he's also weaker than the other two he has less health so he's much easier to kill but still, like, I've been killed by him before where I didn't see him and he was, like, peeking around a corner and he fucking does his death stare at me and kills my ass. So, uh, he, I think he's the worst one out of the three bosses, but, I mean, hey, other people might say otherwise. Whatever. Just shoot his ass. Kill him far away. Use the walls. Do not fucking... I actually got really lucky that he came up to me like that. So, and again... I only have a 20% damage ring, all right? So if you have a pistol damage ring and you got like way more than 20%, you could be doing the same shit that I'm doing. As long as you got those maxed out rank three trinkets, you're fine. This difficulty is not that bad. Once you learn how to play it, uh, if you don't know what you're doing, then yes, this difficulty is really bad. But as long as you're managing your heat, you're not picking up shit you don't need to. You only pick up a bunch of shit when you're trying to get a boss to spawn because you've already found the crest for that boss, you know? The red crest, blue crest, or yellow crest. So that's that's what's different about this difficulty. It's like kind of broken up into three stages. Well, four stages. You're trying to get the red crest. All right, now spawn the, the first boss. Kill him. All right, now you get the blue crest. Now spawn the second boss. Kill him. All right, now you get the yellow crest. Now spawn the third boss. Kill him. Then you go to the yellow room, and you do the usual shit of, you know, putting the blood in the machines and blah, blah, blah. You know, you've done it a million times. So he's dead. It looks like the wave is pretty much over. So we're gonna just, usually same shit. Like I said, you wanna just stay, see? That's why you always check your ass. <laughs> oh, and if you don't know already, you should know the enemy 
the noises the enemies make, you know, when they they aggro on you, when they see you, they make a noise. So like those butchers, that noise he made, that's the noise for cutters when they see you. Uh, you should know these noises by now because if you're picking up an item or you're putting blood in the blood machine and you hear that fucking noise of when they see you, you stop. Immediately stop, turn around and shoot his ass. Especially witches, you know, when the witches are like, <gasps> they do the gasp. If you're picking up some gun or something like that and you hear that, <gasps> you fucking stop, turn around, and just start shooting. Like, <laughs> don't even look. Sometimes it's better just to turn around and just be shooting as you're turning around because they move so fast. Sometimes. Sometimes you'll hear the noise, they're like, <gasps> and then they walk to you and, you know, try and attack you so you have time. Other times, they'll be in the middle of demon speeding to you as they do their little noise that lets you know that they saw you. And they're just going to cut your ass. So that's why on Abyss, any fucking time you're holding E to pick up an item or whatever, if you hear that noise from a monster and, you know, they spotted you, stop, turn around, and shoot them because they will kill you instantly. You, I've died a lot of times like that because I was like, hey, I'll just pick up these shotgun shells. They're not going to get me, and then they get me. So always stop when you hear the noise of the demons coming for you or, you know, when they spot you. So, so, like I said, again, you should probably just wait, even though we just killed the second boss. Like I said, you're just starting out. You need to build confidence. I would just wait. Just fucking wait and, uh, you know, kill everything until they stop coming. Then go outside. Just kill everything, kill the whole wave, and then go. Because you don't want to die. You're trying to learn this difficulty. You know, you don't want to fucking die and not get the abyss chest. I should actually talk about guns. So I'm gonna talk about the guns. Uh, so for the pistol, there's a left click where it shoots like this, and then there's the right click where you can shoot hella fast. I pretty much always use the right click now, uh, all the time, because it has pretty much the same accuracy as the left click, and it shoots faster. Um, especially with the stability one. Upgrade. So pretty much, I just use right click all the time. It's you're gonna kill him. Uh, when it comes to the SMP, the left click will shoot a couple bullets, just like one. And the right click is the one where it shoots all crazy and you shoot the whole mag. Uh, for the SMP, there are people oh, there are people who will say, Oh, you need the silencer to make the SMP snipe people. Uh, no, you fucking don't. You can just tap. Just, just single tap on the left click and you can snipe with this thing. Watch. And now nobody's coming. <laughs> you could tap. You could snipe with this thing if you just tap it. Of course, it doesn't do as much damage as the fucking pistol, but you can snipe really fucking fast. Look at you can see my the bullets. If you just tap this thing, you can snipe with it. It's not hard. And then the right click shoots like a burst of three rounds, and it's actually the same thing. The right click, it actually has really good accuracy if you just tap it. So you can snipe even with the right click. I pretty much only use the right click now with the SMP, and I'll just tap it. Just tap it once. You know, it's like that. And you see where the bullets are hitting. This thing has really good accuracy, and I'm not using the fucking silencer like people say. So you don't need the silencer for accuracy. This thing is accurate. Just tap it. So, and then obviously if you're up close to a big old fat dude or something, then yeah, unload the full mag on his ass. Uh, but uh, yeah, SMP is really good. Just doesn't do as much damage as a pistol, but doesn't matter. It's still really great. Shotgun, um, pretty much always just use the right click where it shoots one, uh, one shell. Ideally, you want to be pretty close. So like right here is probably good. That'll kill pretty much all the weak enemies. Won't kill rottens, obviously. Pistol dudes, it will kill because they're weak, obviously. Um, you always want to use the right click because it only shoots one shell uh, for far away, like mid-range combat. You only want to use the left click where it shoots both if you're fighting a fat boy. You know, one of the big fat mancubus motherfuckers, doctors, clowns, uh, or witches. And you can stun lock them with, uh, I think, did I tell you that? Uh, when If you have the reload gloves, the marine gloves, plus the uh, Kingslayer choke, if you have them maxed out, you can stun lock rotten clowns, rotten doctors, rotten faceless, the fat dudes. Uh, whatever. You could just be like, bam, bam, bam. You will stun lock them. It doesn't matter. Like, don't be afraid. Like, if they jump you, you can stun lock them if you have the reload speed. That's why reload speed is so fucking good. 
So I've done that before. There'll be a black clown on me. I'm just bam, bam, bam. Just I stun lock his ass. He can't do anything. He can't shoot fireballs. Can't do anything. So don't be afraid. Like if you got reload speed, you're gonna be fine. Just make sure you shoot him. Don't be freaking out and shooting all left and right and all that. So all right. So we're gonna leave now. Now that I talked about guns. Uh, nail gun shoot stuff. Uh, I should have talked about the the power weapons. Uh, nail gun, I don't have it, so I can't show you. Really great. Uh, I don't use it much because I don't have the reload speed thing. The rail gun, I think, is better. Left click shoots the beam. It will pierce through pretty much everything. Super great when there's a torrid coming through tight uh, doorways. And then the right click is like a shotgun. It will bounce around and kill dudes. I sometimes will use it, you know, if I can't look into a room, you know, like this. And I know there's a shitload of dudes. I'll shoot the shotgun in. It'll kill a lot of guys like that. It's really good. I think you should always pick up the railgun on Abyss if you find it, because uh, it's fucking great. It's really good. Even without, I'm just, I'm not even using, uh, you know, my damage ring. It's still really good. Look at this All right, so I'm gonna leave now. I've been talking way too long. This is getting. How long is this? 46 minutes. Holy shit. We need to go get that blue. We need to get this blue. I think it's best when you're going into a new room to clear it first. You know, run around, kill all the monsters in case any are hiding or something. Clear it, make sure it's safe, then start looting. See, there's the yellow one. Oh, it's a demon chest. Wow, so cool. Um, this is actually a really good room to hold out, I think, because it's very open. It sucks because a lot of these doors are open. Usually it's nice. If that door was shut, oh, this would be great. You can just chill out right here and just bam, 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 shoot anything that comes through the doors. Um, I guess I haven't talked about that either. You want to try and snake uh, the demons through doors. So if you can, this is why you need to memorize the levels, each of these levels, because you want to know where all the doors are. So that way you can basically make like a snaking pattern that they have to get through in order to get to you. So it'll reduce their flow. It'll make them very congested. You're causing a traffic jam basically. Uh, so even if there's a million fucking demons, they got to go through this fucking snake loops and shit just to get to you. So you're only going to be fighting like five at a time or two or something. So it's much easier to deal with. Then if you had to fight, you know, a shitload. All right, so here we go. We're in the third stage again. We got the yellow crest. Same shit again. We're just trying to build up heat now. So we got to build up heat. We got to make some demons. So fucking, if you can, pick up totems or weapon mods. If there's no totems or weapon mods, fuck it, dude. Pick up ammo, pick up guns, whatever. <laughs> like, just, this is the one time where, uh, all of your training from this game kind of gets thrown out the window because you're usually not supposed to pick up shit. Those motherfuckers right there, those those are the black uh, pistol guys. They are extremely dangerous on this difficulty. If you see them, you need to kill them as soon as possible. Uh, see, this is why this room is great. I'm going to pick up the nail gun because I'm just trying to make more heat. So I'm like, hey, fuck it. Let's get some more heat. Because this motherfucking boss is not spawning. And again, it could be because of where I'm at. Um, that's why I was saying you want to keep rooms locked. So that way the boss can spawn in the locked rooms. Or the monsters can. But uh, you don't always have the luxury of that choice. So, again, I'm picking up rubies. I shouldn't normally pick up rubies. But I'm trying to get heat. And we need this fucking boss to spawn. There you go, he spawned. Alright. So, same shit, like usual. Just fucking choose the spot you want to hold out. Uh, ideally, you want to kind of be towards the center of the room that you're in. Because if you're towards the center of the room, of the entire square, uh, that will usually make it so demons don't spawn as often in the same room as you. Uh, on the lower difficulties, they pretty much hardly ever spawn in the same room that you're in. But on this difficulty, they will sometimes spawn. 
So you want to try and stay near the center. Okay, there he is. This is the try shot guy. So this is the guy that he shot, does a try shot. It does a shitload of damage if it hits you, so don't fucking get hit. Um, any demons he's near, he will upgrade their their fireballs. So whatever their fireball is, it will be the rotten version of it. So he's not that bad. If you fight him range, like this guy is not that bad. He's pretty easy to dodge his projectiles. I usually never fight him in close quarters, so I don't know, maybe I'm full of shit and he's really bad. But, uh. Okay, again, you notice I'm walking back and forth. I'm in this place. Just in case some demon does spawn behind me. Oh god, that's a fat boy. He's a rotten. I think this is the worst rotten enemy, the fat boys. Now I'm getting surrounded. Now I'm gonna fucking die on my tutorial video. Hold on, I gotta focus. <laughs> right, they didn't kill you. So that was an excellent time for uh Ooh, who's shooting me? Excellent time for the railgun. Oh Jesus. Yeah, these motherfuckers I think are the worst. They do so much damage. The fat guys, the manky buy, or uh, I think they're called faceless or something, I forget. See, there's a good hallway to use this. Actually, it would be better just to shoot this down the hallway. Damn, look at that. That's hot. <laughs> uh, always be checking your ammo, obviously, especially when you're in the middle of a fight like that. Always check your ammo. Make sure that you're not running out. Check it every so often. Look to see how much ammo you have. Uh, especially when you're in a crazy fight because you don't want to be shooting and then oh shit I'm out of ammo and then you're dead um, so yeah that was actually really hectic that fight if that was me when I first started Abyss I probably would have died on that fight because I was really slow and I would have probably gotten overwhelmed so that was kind of a bad example showing you because all these doors were fucking open. Usually a lot of these doors would not be open. They would be closed. So this room would have been easier to defend. But I just got unlucky and it was a little harder. But uh, yeah, sometimes that's how it is. You get to a room like this. It's a fucked room. You can't handle the horde. You get killed. And it happens. So... Especially in the beginning. Later on, you will get fast enough, like you saw with me. <laughs> and you will be able to usually survive, even if you fuck up and there's a big old horde like that. Um, but yeah, in the beginning, you know, it happens sometimes. You get a shitty layout of the rooms, and you get killed. And it's not your fault, it's just you had a shitty layout of the rooms, you got stuck in a corner because you can't go out in the rest of the map because there's a ton of demons out there. You get fucked. So, it happens. Don't feel bad. It's just, just is what it is. Um, so again, like I usually was saying, I think you should just stay in the room, even though you killed the boss. Stay in the room till they stop coming. Just keep killing them. Stay in the room, whatever. Once you get better, you can leave the room and check. That's one of the pro strats. You can leave the room and check the density of the demons. You don't hear anything if you leave the room and you're, you know, listening and you don't really hear anything. That means you probably killed most of them and you can leave. You can leave the room. So, all right. So now we're on the last part. Where we got to go put in the blood machines. This is a great room, but it might be shitty. We'll find out right now. Um yeah, so you don't gotta worry about bosses anymore. You kill the three bosses, you're done, you're golden. Now we just gotta do these stupid blood machines. Give me those rail guns, dog. Now we just gotta worry about blood machines, and then we're home free. 
So we're just looking around. Trying to see if there's anything good we can pick up. Eh, I don't even need it. Don't matter. So with this room in particular, I wish I could teach you about all the yellow rooms. There's always specific level tile sets for the yellow rooms. Sometimes you'll get them in the white rooms too, but it, it's really rare. Uh, but there is specific levels that are or specific tile sets for the yellow rooms. So this is one of the ones for like the hospital or whatever. So you can open up all these doors. The doors you don't want to open is this one to the right and this one to the left because they will lead upstairs. All the blood machines are upstairs. So this is like the best fucking funnel right here. Let's see, is this door open? Sweet. See, this door is closed. If you get this kind of situation, leave that shit closed because then, then the only way to get up to the second floor, which is where all the blood machines are, is through that staircase. And the reason there's a guy here is because he spawned over here in this room. So usually when I hold out up here, I just stay like right here. I stay like right here and they can't come in because there's this door here. There is a spawn like over here, but they will not spawn here if you're standing here. At least I have, see there's a spawn right there. I never had, <laughs> I never had any demons spawn on me when I've been right here. It does freak you out because you can hear them beneath you and they're like it'll make you think that they're right behind you, but they're really not. Um, so yeah, like I said, just hold out right here. They have to come up through that way. Or if it's the opposite, if this is the door that's open for you, then, uh, you know, hold out over here and shoot that way. So it just depends on what you get. You don't get to choose, you know. So I hear some rottens. In this situation, the problem with this room is uh, a lot of times the demons are stupid. And they have a lot of trouble. The AI has a lot of trouble getting up to the second floor on this particular tile set. Uh, it's not too bright. So uh, a lot of times they'll just be running around in circles beneath you and they can't figure out how to get up here to you. So it sucks because I want to go over there to get those blood machines. But I know if I go over there, I will get a spawn or two popping up over here. But I might have to do it because... I'm not getting enough demons flowing through here for me to kill them. And, and if I don't get enough demons to flow through here, I'm going to be here all day. So they're right here. They're right behind that door. So normally I would suggest for you to just wait. Don't do shit like that. I don't know if there's one in here with you or not. <laughs> I would suggest do not do what I just did. <laughs> uh, uh, if this door is open for you, it's safe to shoot down that hallway because it's pretty wide open. But if that hallway is open for you, I would suggest do not do what I just did because you might get caught on the edge of the door and you might get killed. <laughs> so if you got the railgun, do what I did. You know, shoot the railgun into the hallway. But, uh... You don't got no real gun. Don't do that. <laughs> Man, look at this. You got a bunch of real gun ammo. Well, well, well. I'm getting tired of waiting though. And this video is already long enough. So we're just gonna shoot some rounds down there. Kill the guy behind me, and I don't even know. Check in this room, make sure there's nobody spawning behind me. Here comes the big boy. So usually what you want to do is when you do get to the yellow room, 
you want to only do like maybe three or maybe four blood machines and then stop. Ooh, that's a black witch coming. Um, like only do like two or three maybe, depending on your heat, and then stop. And then stop, you know, just do two or three blood machines, depending on your heat. If there's a wave that start, like maybe, you, let's say you just do one blood machine and you could see the red letters that a wave started, just stop, don't even do any more. Uh, because you're just gonna make it way worse for you. Uh, especially when you're starting out. But later on, you can pretty much do like three or four blood machines and you'll be fine. Because if you're controlling the level properly by killing everything and, you know, not picking up a whole lot of heat, even a lot of times when there's a wave coming, it really won't even be that bad. Uh, you'll be able to kill everything pretty easily. So... Just for the sake of speed, I'm going to do that. Remember what I said. Don't do what I just did right there. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Uh, as soon as you see those demons pop around the corner or you hear them targeting you, stop. <laughs> stop putting in blood. <laughs> Don't do that. That's really risky. So I just had the orange words pop up. Oh, a twinge of guilt. So that means we got pretty good heat. We can fucking... Uh, we can fucking put some more blood in. What's the problem? Um, One thing I just figured out, I never knew because I've never been that fucked up before. Um, when you're putting in the blood, it'll take 7% of your total life. So even if you have really low health, it can kill you. I actually killed myself on an abyss level uh, the other day. I was really fucked up and I put in the blood and it actually killed my ass. So make sure when you're putting in blood that you have a lot of health. The other problem is why you want a lot of health is because uh, your health bar to be higher anyways. Because when your health bar gets low, your screen gets all bloody and it's hard to see. So that's a problem. So thanks to this room, we have a shitload of demons. And this is looking way more easier than it should look. Usually I would have been battling dudes the whole time. This is a terrible <laughs> This is a terrible tutorial video because I'm showing you something that should not usually happen. Usually you put in like three or four blood machines and then you're fighting like a bunch of dudes, wait until the wave is dead, then you put in the rest of the blood machines. Uh, and then you go from there. But uh This is a bad example. I'm sorry. Uh I'm just gonna go out there. A little bit of health. This is what I mean that that's a bad hallway. You can get caught. I was getting caught on the side of the fucking door somehow. That was seriously everything? I killed everything? So same shit like I've been telling you, if you have to, this is actually a pretty good room to hold out. Uh, like right here, for example, in the center. Right as I say that, this motherfucker shows up. You should be good at dodging fireballs by abyss. <laughs> like, you need to, if you're not good at dodging fireballs, then you made it this far. I don't know how you made it this far. <laughs> you should be good at dodging fireballs and leading them into walls and shit. So yeah, just like I've been telling you before, just kill everything. Just wait. Just wait. You're not trying to, you're trying to reduce risk. So just fucking wait. Take your time. Fucking don't take any risky... Don't do anything risky. 
Just kill all these Fulios. Take your time. If it's an hour long match, then it's an hour long match. This dude's trapped up there and doesn't know how to get to me. Oh, Senor Black Clown. Oh, motherfucker! I didn't even hear him. He would have killed my ass. <laughs> Maybe I'm not actually good at this game. I'm just really lucky. <laughs> I heard him swing too. It sounded like he swung. Uh, what else can I tell you? Just, uh, play safe. Don't do stupid shit. Right there with the rotten clown. Uh, you know, just unlock him. Unload. You know, if you got your SMP, fucking unload on his ass. Waste the whole mag. Get behind cover. Shoot him again. With black clowns. So you don't want to get hit by their fireballs because their fireballs will wreck your asshole. I think I hear a black clown. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the stun. Where you at, asshole? I want to show you the chain stun, but this motherfucker don't show up. There he is. All right, I'll show you the chain stun. Show you that it is possible. This motherfucking cutter is gonna kill my ass. I'm over here trying to show you how to chain stun. Ooh, that should not have hit me. <laughs> that was such a fucking mistake. Holy shit. I might actually die. So then you get out. Ideally, use the railgun. You can use the right click to keep dudes out. Make sure all the dudes are dead, so that way you're safer. Look at that, 52 minutes. Ooh, that was terrible. I don't know how I'm going to chop this video up. And there you go. You got your abyss chest. Like I said, take your fucking time. Don't, don't, don't be fast. Just take your time. Kill the whole wave. Walk back and forth. <laughs> Shoot folios. That's pretty much it. Uh, you can. It's doable. You can do it. It's not that bad. You just have to change up your tactics and uh, don't do stupid shit like me, like I just did right there. <laughs> Shoot clowns from far away. Don't use the shotgun. <laughs> I'm full of shit. <laughs> no, you can't do it. I just missed. Uh, what else? Hmm. Level up your rings. Get rubies on the lower difficulties. Don't do it on Abyss until, like, once you get crazy ass gear, then yeah, sure, do whatever the fuck you want. Do it on Abyss because you'll be able to, like, one shot everything. But, uh, yeah, just take your time. Walk back and forth. <laughs> uh, make sure you, you know, get the keys one at a time. So get the red key, spawn the first boss, kill him. Get the blue key, spawn the second boss, kill him. Get the yellow key, spawn the third boss, kill him. So, like, don't just, you know, run key after key after key like you usually do on the lower difficulties. You know, just go slow. And uh, once you start going faster and you're more comfortable, you can usually be an abyss level in, like, 16, 20 minutes, maybe 22 minutes. Like, you can do it pretty fast. I was just showing you just going slow, holding down the places and all that. But once you're comfortable and you know what you're doing, you can do it under 30 minutes like I'm serious I usually average like 20 22 minutes something like that it's not that bad or 16 minutes sometimes 18 uh, it's not really that bad once you know what you're doing uh, so yeah I think that's about it anyways hopefully this guide helped you and uh, I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna chop it down and make it smaller but whatever but uh, yeah hopefully it helped you out you can actually beat Abyss. It's doable. You can do it solo. It is possible. You know, if you don't have any friends to play with, then hey, you got to fucking do it. <laughs> so anyways, good luck. 
Hopefully I made you laugh, and uh, bye.